Hi there, so this week we are working with the hand towel. If you've got osteoporosis, I wouldn't recommend doing this with the towel. You can join the exercises without having the towel in as we're putting some pressure through the thoracic spine using the towel. So we're gonna do a little bit of work to just mobilize through the rib cage. Um, so you're gonna need to have your towel in this nice tube. And we're actually gonna run this towel down where our ribs um, connect to the spine. So in order to find that, I want you to place your hand as though you're patting yourself on the back. And you know that your shoulder blade is here. And if you just come in of the shoulder blade, you've almost got the highest point. If you think your rib cage is in a nice curve, just the highest point of that rib cage, you, can, um, you may not feel, but that's where your bones of your um, ribs just attach to the vertebra. So just on the highest point of the roundness of the rib cage, and then just come in slightly. And if you start to prod, you'll probably feel there's a bit that feels a little bit more tender. Okay, so we're gonna run this down our bodies here. So just on the inside of that shoulder blade and down through those little joints. And we're going to just do it on one side. So I'm gonna pop that down and I'm gonna go for um, my chunkier cushion just because um, this is going to lift one side of me up. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down onto my back. Trying to find that position. And I might have to just shuffle onto it. And I'm gonna bring it up a little bit because I don't want it into my pelvis it can just rest in the hollow in my lower back. Okay, and then adjust. So I'm gonna feel like I'm on a little bit of a slope and that my, I've got this under the right hand side of my body and that my left side is lower down than my right. Nice, okay. And I'm bringing it up a little bit so I can feel that towel in position. Okay, and then from here, just start with letting the back of the skull sink into your cushion behind your head. And then we're gonna start with just some nice basic arms going overhead. Now what I want you to do is just turn the palms in to face your hips and lead the movement with your thumbs. And just nice and slowly here, and I want you to let your arm bones just sink into their sockets letting those shoulders stay soft and just notice how one side feels to the other. Super slow and as we just go overhead, just let those arm bones sink into those shoulder sockets. And as you do so, just keep turning the thumbs out slightly. and then turn them the other way. So our little fingers drop down. My head stays heavy. And now turn the other way and turn. Then back to that central position like you're holding a beach ball and then bring that beach ball nice and slowly, keeping those arm bones sunk in their sockets as you come back down to the mat. Nice. This time, reach those fingertips, again, palms facing inwards, reach those fingertips towards your feet along the floor and you'll feel that little depression of the shoulders. And now try and reach the fingertips away from you as you come up, nice and slow. And this time really reach, reach, reach. So I'm sliding those arm bones out of the sockets reach, 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 keep going, keep reaching the fingertips, shoulders glide away from that chest wall, keep reaching, I'm now taking my fingertips as best I can off the chest wall and to the wall behind me, keep lengthening, keep reaching, hold wherever's comfortable for you, don't overstretch 
And now turn, and I've turned my palms out, little fingers down, keep reaching those fingertips. And now turn the other way, keep reaching the fingertips, feel the shoulder blade come off the chest wall. One more, back the other way, and reach. So it doesn't have to reach the floor, it shouldn't feel uncomfortable in the shoulders. Just glide now the shoulders or the fingers up to the ceiling. And just here you might start to notice how that towel feels under that one side compared with the other. Reach those fingertips and now just soften and let the body and the arms melt to the mat. Notice how each side of the body feels. Then from here, we're gonna come into a little pelvic tilt. So we're gonna roll that marble into our belly button. It doesn't have to be over or compressed, just a little scoop. And then just peel the pelvis away from the mat. I'm keeping my spine and my rib cage on that towel. So it's just a little mini scoop of the lower body. And then just with the breath out, just let it sink. And you're trying to melt the pelvis, sink through the middle and then roll through and out and down. So it's a little roll back, keeping the rib cage as heavy as you can for as long as possible. And then you just lift the pelvis up and you should feel the weight of the rib cage all the way down that length of the towel. And then just try and think about letting the rib cage become heavier sinking and sighing out down onto that towel and release. Good, two more here. So we just roll back, keep the rib cage heavy, coming up and then sighing out and down. Last one here, roll up. And we're gonna hold here. Just notice the feet and think of the tripods of the feet, big toe, little toe, heel bone. And just anchor those tripods of the feet with this pelvis, just hovered gently, not too far. And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna ski. So you're gonna shift your hips to one side, shift your hips to the other. So it's a small movement, keeping that rib cage heavy on the towel. And there'll be a point where the towel is more pressured than the other points. So if you've kept the pelvis quite low, that might feel quite low down. We're gonna try and scoop the pelvis up a little bit higher and take the pressure perhaps into a different point of the towel and then just ski through the pelvis here. Just small movements, don't try and overdo it. And now I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under a little bit more, send my knees away a bit further. And now I've changed the pressure in the towel even higher. So it's just at the base of my shoulder blade and I'm skiing. Nice, and then hold here. Let the back of the skull become heavy. You've still got that softness through the chin. We're gonna think about super slow, turning the palms in and taking the arms up. This time the weight of those arm bones are sinking down into those shoulder sockets. So really think about those arm bones in the sockets, really relaxed and heavy as you super slow go overhead, just as far as is comfortable for you. And we're not gonna go as far, so don't try and go into too much range, just keep supported here. And then here you're gonna just ski and ski. Drop the pelvis down a little bit and ski. So I'm almost to the mat. Then tuck your tailbone under and scoop a little bit higher and ski. So we've done the middle, now we're doing the upper and before we did the lower. Back to centre, soften back to about the midline. On the way back, you're gonna reach those fingertips away from you and then allow those shoulder blades to be gliding up the chest wall as you reach, reach, reach the fingertips all the way towards that wall away from you and down. 
and then lower here. So taking that cushion out or towel out, arms resting on the floor and just notice how that side of the body feels compared to the other side. Notice how the shoulder blade feels, how the shoulder feels. Cool. So then we're going to repeat that on the other side to finish today's little series. So roll onto your side and come up, then place that towel under or on the highest point of the rib cage just to the inside of your shoulder blade. And my towel doesn't go into my pelvis, it just finishes in that little arch in my lower back. And you can adjust that towel until you find you've got that little bit of support. So here, back of the skull nice and heavy and soft in the cushion, little double chin. So we start here turning the palms in we take those arms overhead super slow, sinking those arm bones into those shoulder sockets as we go overhead. Cool, and I'm just gonna adjust so I can feel that pressure a little bit through my rib cage, and one side might feel quite different to the other. And then here, just turn those hands so my thumbs reach down, I'm turning my palms inwards, trying to spiral all the way through the arms to the shoulder sockets and then turn the other way. Keeping the weight of the rib cage heavy. Turn and turn. Then here with those arm bones sunken into their sockets, nice and slow, bring those arms back to center. Keep them sunk in their sockets, nice and slowly, taking the arms down by the side of the body. This time, palms stay facing inwards, but we slide the fingertips towards our feet, depress the shoulders, and then keep reaching the fingertips. Reach, reach, and as you reach them up to the ceiling, you're gonna feel the shoulder blades gliding off the chest wall. Keep reaching. Keep sliding them away. Keep gliding those shoulder blades up the chest wall as you reach out behind. Stop wherever's comfortable for you. Let the head relax, no tension in the neck. Turn and turn and turn and turn. Keep reaching those fingertips away from you as you bring those arms Reach, 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 reach back to centre and down. Then from here, roll and imprint as you peel up. Without too much tension, I'm going to bring my feet back a little bit, plug in through my heels, and it's just a nice low little hover through the pelvis and roll back down. Keep the weight of the rib cage on and roll and sigh out, sink back down. Keeping the weight of the rib cage on the towel, come up a little bit higher, changing the tension and roll back down. This time roll and scoop up a little bit higher, feel that towel maybe massage into those little joints where the ribs attach to the vertebra and down. So this time we scoop up and we're gonna shift our hips. So I'm staying low, lower part of my rib cage. It's in contact with that towel. And you might notice if one side feels different to the other. And now we're gonna tuck that tailbone under a touch more bringing the pressure a little bit higher up the towel into a different part of the rib cage as I skim. And then back to center, tuck under a little bit more 
and feel the pressure a little bit higher up the rib cage. If you've lifted through the rib cage, that's going to bring you off your towel. You want to keep the rib cage tucked and the knees long to get the pressure through there. Shifting side to side. And then from here, we're going to drop a little bit lower into that mid position. And then with the arm bone sunk, take those arms overhead. Maybe not going quite as far. Palms facing each other like you're holding that peach ball. And shift here. And shift. Then go a little bit lower, so you're in that lower part of the rib cage, shifting side to side. Then tuck your tailbone under, scoop up a little bit higher. Again, remember it's not the rib cage lifting, it's the pelvis. And then feel the pressure into the upper part of the rib cage. Shift side to side, back to centre. Sink the head heavy, let the arm bones sink into their sockets. Bring those arms down. And then sighing out, find the rib cage, find the lower back. Release out into your neutral and take the towel out. Let those arms rest down by the side of you and you might want to just shuffle down to a smaller head cushion. Notice how your spine, shoulders feel now. Roll onto your side, scoop up, coming up into kneeling. Just take your time because you might feel a little bit dizzy. Slide those shoulders up to your ears and let them glide away, imagining them feeling free and easy, like bars of soap sliding up the back of the rib cage and down. Last two there, let them glide up, let them melt away. Reach those arms up, breath in, and then exhale, reach those fingertips away, finding a nice width through the front of the chest. Bring those arms down by the side of the body and roll your shoulders back. I hope that gives you some good posture for the rest of the week.